okay hello friends in this particular video we'll talk about the introduction introductory part what is an algorithm area of study why algorithm and how to judge an algorithm so what is algorithm an algorithm is any well defined computational procedure that takes some value or set of values as input and produces some value or set of values as a of output an algorithm is thus a sequence of computational steps this particular point is very important an algorithm is thus a sequence of computation steps that transform the input into the output okay now we can also view an algorithm as a tool for solving a well specified computational problem the algorithm describes a specific computational procedure for achieving that input output relationship okay so what is an algorithm so it's a well defined computational procedure okay so there must be uh, one or zero out input and one or more output so algorithm is a tool okay next uh, in other way we can say an algorithm is a finite set of instructions that if followed accomplish a particular task in addition all algorithm must satisfy the following criteria okay so few criteria there we have to satisfy so first one input zero or more quantities are externally supplied so zero or more zero or more input suppose zero input means suppose a simple program display hello world okay suppose you are writing a program in java c++ or c you are writing you have written one program hello world here no input is there but one output is there that is hello world a message next output at least one quantity is produced at least one output should be there definiteness each instruction is clear and unambiguous it should be clear and unambiguous means a is equal to we cannot write a is equal to 5 or 6 or take anything or assume anything it is not it should be clear means it should be 5 or 6 or anything okay but one controversy uh, uh, next is finiteness if we trace out the instructions of an algorithm then all for the cases the algorithm terminates after a finite number of steps okay so if it is uh, so algorithm should be finite algorithm should be terminate it should end it should execute it should stop then it is not an algorithm, algorithm. It should, but another concept is there say operating system operating system is a uh, finite it is uh, infinite algorithm so to stop operating system you have to halt by force you have to shut down the operating system next is effectiveness okay so effective means means every instructions must be very basic so that it can be carried out uh, in principle by a person using only paper and pencil okay that uh, it should be feasible means uh, we cannot write a is equal to 5.666 dot 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 we cannot so you have to stop somewhere or uh, can you add this one pa by paper and pencil can you add this one 5.66 dot 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 plus 7.33 dot 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 we can't add so obviously computer can can't do this one can can't add these two number also so algorithm should be effective it should be effectiveness next part is area of study okay so uh, the study of algorithm includes many important and active areas of research there are four distinct area of study one can identify first is how to devise algorithm means how to create an algorithm For suppose plan uh, that one suppose a problem is there to conquer the problem we have to write a plan there should be one blueprint there should be one plan okay that plan is nothing but our algorithm okay so devising this one next validate so how to validate it okay next now that means once an algorithm is devised, it is necessary to show that it computes the correct answer for all possible legal inputs. Okay, so we refer to this process as algorithm validate. Okay, next is analyze. Now suppose we have we have written one algorithm. Okay, we have written one program. Then we have to check the performance of the algorithm means how much space it needs how much time it needs to execute how much time it needs to give the output okay so this particular part is very important now analysis of an algorithm or performance analysis refer to the task of determining 
how much computing time and storage and algorithm requires okay so it allows you to make quantitative judgments about the value of one algorithm over another so we can compare so by uh, for time complexity and space complexity we can compare two algorithm or more than two algorithms and finally testing okay so we have to test it for the different test cases so in testing we may use debugging or performance measurement profiling we can use now what is debugging debugging is the process process of executing program on sample data sets to determine whether faulty results occur and if so to correct them okay so uh, some set of inputs are there and we know the set of output if if you receive the same set of output then it's okay if it is not then it is some problem are there okay so, so we'll talk about time and space complexity thank you very much